be teaching and learning. They are the OERs. There, are, as I said, it started with MIT Open Courseware, and we'll show you how MIT Open Courseware are there. If I just type MIT Open Courseware, and as it, I, I had opened it earlier, it opens. And you see, there are a lot of courses available on many topics. You can identify, find it by MIT course number, department. So let's see the new courses which are there. These are the featured new courses on uh, aeronautics, anthropology, economics, physics. See, I'll go to physics. So these are the courses which are available. The level, then whether it's supplemented and all, all these are there. Say, I just click on this. So this is a, you get a course featured course on this. so this is how you can find the resources and as you go down you see many of them listed which are available say for example systems and controls it was in 2013 this is the MIT course um, number which is given to them it's an undergraduate level if I click on this this is a metadata as I was talking about so this is by professor George it was in 2013 for the first time this is the course number level features it has lecture notes assignments problem sets exams like some questions and this course provides an introduction to linear systems transfer functions and laplace term so these details are there you can just go and explore it many courses in humanities social sciences engineering you can just go and explore right say so i'll just if we go to topic wise then it will be say humanities history asian history and you can see go down a lot of courses so you can just explore any of the courses say women in southeast asia the making of south this is by professor haimanti roy it was in 2006 then a survey of the indian civilization from 2005 bc to the present day traces assignments are the written assignments are the features so you just go and explore view the course and this courses they just go and download and as you can see you have to this is the license cc by nc by sc it says that you have to attribute you have to use it for non-commercial purpose you cannot use it for commercial purpose and you have to share like once you make some changes you have to share under the same license in which you have received it that is this license then we have another site called oer Commons. So if we just type OER Commons, it will take us to the site OER Commons. Here you can just go and explore the resources. You need not sign in. But for up, for uploading, for being like if you want a place where you can upload your OERs, this is a place where you can upload your OERs. Just register and sign in. And as you go down, this is a um, uh, this is a play. Uh, this is a like tool through which you can make your um, uh, make your OERs. And then uh, you can just go down and just see the license. The license CC by S, NC by S. The same license as MIT courseware. That is, you have to attribute for the non-commercial purpose and for the for share alike as well. So if you just want to search something, let us just put something here. Say assessment, subject, say education, right? Education level graduation and professional and then sir the standards are something which we need not go into 99 results are there using ict based diagnostic assessment tool so if you just click on this so this, this is the description of the resource this is the level material type is unit of study author as matthew Gnoy from school of leadership and governance when 2017 it's a text it is by creative commons cc by sa that is you have to attribute and you have to share under the same uh, condition, same license. You can also directly share on the Google Classroom, share on other platforms also. You can view the resource and add, uh, save the resource. So this is how you use this site of OER Commons. There's another site called Merlot. That is Multimedia Educational Resources for Learning and Online Teaching. So that is an acronym for that. And if you see, there are 92,000 resources are available. The communities, you can browse by collection. You can browse by discipline. Say, I, dis I browse by education. So you have these many 
see 10,651 results for Merlot material in the education category. So for example, if I just click on any of these, uh, say voice thread or any of these, say interactive quizzes or understanding evolution, say let me try this. So it will give us the details about this resource. So this is a brief description of the res uh, like about the resource. And then this is under this, uh, education, teacher education, teaching method, more about the material. These are the resources, material type. You'll have to go to the material. So when was it, when was it modified? Who is the author, primary audience, cost involved, English, uh, creative community, the license is not uh, specified here. We'll just go to the material. It is going taking us to another site of the material where we'll have to go and check whether it's in before using whether it's an OER or not. So this was created by the University Museum of Paleontology with support from this. So copyright will have to read this. Copyright material may not be reproduced, stored in retrieval system. So this is basically copyrighted material which you if you really want to just write to them if you want to use this material. So uh, this is uh, material where you can go and use it. Then uh, we can try some other resource, say uh, which technology should I use, this is again a resource, so this is the abstract and as you can see this material is CC by NC by NC. So you get lots of, lot of materials for the copyrighted ones, if they are, because this is a curate, they are curating the material, so even um, you may get some copyrighted or there, there are materials which are not under the open license, but then you can just go and explore, use the OER materials which are there, right? So uh, we can see this as uh, this is the uh, this is the resource. Then there's another site which is Open Course Library. Open Course Library. If we just go to this. So here is a link for OCL. This is the open course library. You have got oh, featured courses. You've got OCL courses. So you can see these many courses, principles of accounting, survey of anthropology, American sign language, survey of biology. These are the courses. You can just go and explore and find more and more resources. There are certain featured resources also. So there are maths and society and symbolic language and many other if you want to have more details then you can just go ahead and then find it out right and then there are resources presentation and success similarly from this site open washington where you you get a lot of resources you have a link called find risk find oer in there it gives a link to oer resource repository well this is a page which is of much use because it sort of disintegrates this it sort of segregates the open images open textbook open course material and open video and audio so you can if you want the images you go to library of congress you go to cc search collection you go to unsplash flickr noun on these are the for the open slide slide share presentation magazine for open textbooks you can go to these sites Open course materials, you can go to these sites and open video and audio, you can go to these sites like YouTube, Vimeo, Khan, Khan Academy, Open Course Project. So this is a page if you can mark it. How did we reach there? We went to Open Washington from there, find OER and then OER resource repository. It takes us to this page from where we can find more resources and i'll also show you some of the other ways of finding the resources so these were some of the uh, resources which are at the global level there are some at the indian level also for example i'll show you NPTEL. it is one of the success projects of government of india under the nmeict which is national uh, mission for education through ICT. So this is NPTEL, which is initiated by the seven IITs and the IASC Bangalore. And then here you got the courses, say NPTEL courses, medical courses, resources, help videos and all that. And then if you go down, you see this logo that is CC by NC by SA. Remember I had talked that the Paris Declaration and all they had said that the 
the sources made by the public fund should be released as an OER. So this is a resource made by public fund and it is released as an OER. So CC by NC by SA that is attribution, non-commercial purpose and share. So if you just go, go and find these resources, say NPTEL resources, which discipline you want. If you want in humanities and social science management, engineering, physics, for example, I'll say physics, so solar energy, these many resources are there. 82 entries are there. You can just go and say theory of solids, you have material, videos, assignments, download videos. So the whole material, week one, week two, the whole course material, you can take. It is not that that uh, you, you cannot take. You can just take the whole course and then you just have to attribute that it is to NPTEL. As I said, the conditions and for non-commercial purpose. And if you make any changes, you have to share with the community under the same terms and conditions. So this is one of the success stories of the government of India project uh, there's another project which is quite popular and quite rich is NROER that is national repository for open education resources it is by NCRT maintained by NCRT and if we go to this we'll see repository in the workplaces and then lots and lots of things which are there if I go down see the license CC by SA that is attribution and share alike here the NC is missing so this is upon the institutions who envision as to uh, who are their clients who are the stakeholders and for them they uh, decide the license so NROER is there if I just go to the repository so this is OER map to school curriculum other resources, devices, independent digital books, blended courses, contribution, it will just go to OER. So these are mapped to the national curriculum. See, uh, the biology, living world, in the natural phenomena. So these are the resources which are available and these resources are OER. Anybody can use this resource. Resource type, subject. So if you want to really... Uh, like distinguish between the subjects, so many languages, Hindi, English, they are there. So you can just filter through this. I'll come back to the repository. And if I see the contribution, the contribution is at both at the individual level, which is say, for example, this is uh, Mr. Arvind Gupta. He's a, a well-known figure when you try to use uh, simple low-cost tools for explaining the theories and the principles of science say a pet bottle a balloon so all these small experiments one minute two minute so he has been contributing for years and is and is a big name in this in his field and uh, works uh, like uh, tirelessly for this so uh, this arvind gupta is uh, one person as an individual contributor then there are institutions also like scrt uttar pradesh uh, like uh, this is state institute of educational technology then Vigyan Prasar, Vidya Online, UNICEF, they are all contributing to NROER. So this is one place we are specially dedicated to school level of um, the teaching and learning resources. They are all available as OERs. So this is then, there is another one at the state level is KOER, Karnataka Open Education Resources, where you can get in the local language as well as in English see this site is there and this is a site which is made on open technology also like uh, on media wiki based on that and then this is cc by sa same as the if you remember the nroer so uh, they are in uh, consonance with each other say this was last edited somebody has edited or uh, today only by koer admin 4th september and today is 4th September itself. So it is a done. All these are very dynamic areas. Then there's one called, um, which is not so active, but yes, it is there. OER for schools. This is by Homi Bhaba, Center for Science. And um, Homi Bhaba Center for Science Education, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. So then you get these resources, cognitive studies in science learning, design and technology in school education, attitudinal studies, biology education, and then you get these resources. So this is how, this is at the Indian level where you get resources. So as I said, this, uh, this, is, uh, the, this is the list you must keep handy but otherwise if i go to if i especially look for images which are some are given here and some i like to explore uh, before like before you in this uh, session 
say for example if you want to look for a image a copyright free image for your presentation for your video for your e-content development there is a site very rich site called as pixabay just go to pixabay and you get stunning free images and royalty free say for example i want it on a cell right i'll just click on this and then ignore this the front one because this is again a sponsor sponsorship for i stock but you go and then as you see cell cell is a term we also use for cell phone so you get for cell phone also but you have got cells also so you want to make a resource or neurons or uh, some kind of a networking or blood um, or a coronavirus kind of a so i'll just click on this and then it is free download and there is no free download even for the commercial purpose and no attribution is required so I, if i just want to download it it will ask me for the resolution which resolution i want if i download it then a captcha is there to just to ensure that i am like a human and then you can just it will get downloaded which you can easily incorporate in your e-content whether it's a powerpoint presentation whether it's a video wherever you want so any image you can just so pixabay is one side then there's a site called pixel pixel is another site where you get lots of video resources uh, sorry audio uh, image resources this is like for example if i look for cell here so this is the cell images we get of course cell phone images we just have to see that we get a cell image so i don't see that good a cell image but then it was better in pixabay so i can use for from the pixabay so pixel is one then there's an unsplash unsplash is another place you get it say for example i'll just search for cell again so here you can see there are a lot many cells so if I want this one image, this image, so it I can download free. And once I'm downloading free, it asks me to acknowledge Joel Philippi. So because uh, this is uh, in Pixabay, they said acknowledgement is or attribution is not required. Here it is required and you have to, you have to just copy it and put it under the image. So that is how you acknowledge. Then there's another site called Flickr, which is maintained by the Yahoo as as of now so uh, you can just find the look for image say cell so you get these images cell is also for a uh, like in jail a room in jail is also cell so here you can see that 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 angle is also included so if you get a good image you find it otherwise you go to other sites where the another important aspect of this is interesting aspect of this is that you can get in a particular color say if i want it in the um, yellow hue then you can see that these are the images which are with the yellow base or yellow background so this is how you can use the flicker then um, these are the then you can also see the wikimedia common site wikimedia commons this is again uh, where you can get images so let me go to images so you can again images by aspect ratio by century by uh, dimension so let me just search one cell so this these are the images of cell say for example i want this one this cell so this is an image which has used this file on web, I can use it. Can you see? It's quite a good image if you want to use in your e-content. And then you can see that this work has been released under the public domain by its author. So you need not acknowledge this. If you acknowledge it's fine. Otherwise, you need not acknowledge it because it is in public domain. So you can just go and use this image without any. You can download all size, sizes. And this also lists on which places it is used. So this is uh, basically from Wikipedia, which has got the license of CC by SA. So this is how you can find images. And there are many other Unsplash, Duke, other searches which you can try later. Then if you want to look for a audio, say for audio, you can go to free sound. Free sound, 
where you get a lot of uh, you can just explore but if you have to download the then you have to register and log in say for example i'm making an e-content on water cycle and i want a sound of waterfall to give an effect so this is the, these are the so many sounds of waterfall i'll whatever i think is appropriate for uh, my uh, e-content i'll just have to click on that but for downloading i'll have to register log into download so you just have to uh, download and then there's no issue then there's another site called gemando gemando is a site where you get free royalty free music these are only the suggestive sites there may be other sites like you have ben sound sites but then you have to um, like you have to acknowledge on your uh, e content that it is taken from there so there are many ways but this, you just have to be careful that it is available under the open licenses and then you should not infringe on the copyright of a of a or like of a resource then uh, if you look at the uh, videos then you have the youtube which is sort of a big giant uh, regarding the uh, videos and you have got excellent videos there so if you want to set set something on sell then if you can just notice the notice these two videos but how do we know, know it's an oer so we'll just go to filter under filter we'll go to creative commons and once we are creative can you see the link the those two videos which are the first two videos they have disappeared that shows that they were not the oers and we cannot use them as it is we can only use oers in our online modules which we are we, we online courses so how do we know if i just, just go to show more and can you see creative commons attribution license that is it is released under an open license so this can be embedded and done like in uk you can also split it into parts and then use small parts clutch take a chunk from it and that insert into your model all those things you can do but not with the other two videos with the other two youtube videos what you can maximum do is if i remove the filter i'll just cross this filter and you can see these videos what you can do is you can give only the url to url to your learners that is like giving an address to your uh, learner for example if somebody asks me Ki, where do i get this best resource on sale then i'll say okay fine you go to this shop or you go to this site and get it so you are only telling the address so telling an address pointing the uh, source uh, like uh, showing a way to the source is not infringement of copyright so whenever you are not sure about the uh, sometimes about the copyright uh, status of the of any resource just give the address don't try to download or scan say for example in this covid time some of my some of my friends they were asked by their colleges to provide resources earlier what they used to give do is they used to get the uh, scan from the books and then give it to the learners but now those scans they cannot put on their sites on college sites because taking a scan of a copyrighted book and putting it uploading on a site is again infringing on the copyright so all these issues they take a different connotation when you're going into on online whereas in face to face you are protected by the fair use policy say even if a copyrighted material there and you are using into face to face it is covered under the fair use policy clear cut but still that is a gray area where a lot of things need to be interpreted in the context so youtube is one place then there is another site which is called as teacher tube teacher tube so here you get science, maths, history, social studies, language arts, and educational songs. So you can also upload it here, join free, sign in. So this is another site. Then there's another site called MIT Blossoms, where again you get resources in, especially in sciences, the video resources. So biology, chemistry, engineering, mathematics, physics, these resources you get here, videos you get here, just try to explore this. Then this is a, then there's a site called Vimeo. This is again an upcoming uh, site, which is for the world's leading professional video platform. So you just have to explore this and you will get videos which are 
can be used as uh, for uploading for creating also so uh, um, there are plans free plans and then there are uh, other pricing also then there's a site called fit which can be used for science simulations in the science subjects very rich site by university of colorado and then if you just see in physics there are 106 uh, results are there and um, there are circuits this one is there color vision is there which i enjoy quite a lot is energy form and changes so uh, i'll just show you this so if i just show you this you can download and embed it embedding means you can embed put it into your lms so all these are free for everyone to use it so i'll just open it it is taking a little time and it's open so if it's an introduction if you want to show the introduction of energy form so let me just uh, try this so there are four forms say this one i want to try first i want to see the energy symbols there are five types of symbols and this is mechanical energy so i'll see this little girl is sort of peddling so e is chemical energy so she has eaten food and that chemical is changed into mechanical energy and that is changed into electrical energy and that is changed into thermal energy if i remove this and use this then it will be the lighting of the bulb now all her energy what food she has eaten is exhausted you have to feed me so again now she will be doing it and you can see the bulb is lighting. so that is an interesting way simulation of showing the change of energy from one form to another form so these are the sites which can be used so we have discussed the image file sites we have discussed the video sites we have discussed the audio sites now we'll come to a place called um, the text textual sites the books so we'll start with a place where i like to get these books is au press atabasca university press this is a press say suppose we uh, want to find some publications so publications are author wise title wise subject wise say let's try the subject wise and you can see education anthropology computing cultural labor law psychology and all these are there let's this is the one of the popular areas education and then everybody talks about the assessment strategies for online education so you can try this book i also want to show you one of the very good books which is an award-winning book and has been translated in many languages uh, edited book by the theory and practice of online learning by terry anderson so this is a very good book if you get hold of get hold of it you can just find it you don't have to get hold of it you just have to download it so this is a book which can be freely downloaded as a pdf and it can be read online but if you want to have a print version you'll have to buy the print book or the ebook if i just go down it is about the authors if i just go down table of content and this work is licensed under creative commons license cc by nc by nd that is you cannot make changes into the book you cannot use it for the any commercial purpose but you can use this book as a part of your as a part of your online module online course online teaching and learning similarly this book is there it is under the same license this work is under the and then you can just go in so this assessment is now a very hot topic so you can just go and read this book by Dine and Jess. so this is uh, one of the books which you can just try and read it so au press press is one place where you get books then there's another place called bc campus british columbia bc campus there you get a lot of books so this is opening find an open textbook you just have to find by the um i have to just click on this and you'll find a open textbook so let me open another site called open stacks this is again a site where you will get a, a free books explore our books in various subjects and all and then you can just see that and you can see this license creative commerce attribution 4.0 this is maintained by the rice university on the subjects if you want on say on uh, 
humanities. So you have history, then uh, it will come. A book, table of content, these are the com co contributing authors. Did, did you find? Not exactly right now. I did not get it. Say on another subject, let me try on the social sciences. So you have on sociology. So this is the summary and then you can download the PDF, order a print copy. So if you want a uh, like soft copy, you can just do it. And then there is instruction resources also, student resources also. So in BC campus, you get these subjects. Again, computer science, education, humanities, social sciences, maths, law, criminal, any area you want. Say, just say education, digital education. So you get creating online learning experiences updated on August 7th. Then this is teaching in a digital age by Tony Bates. Then 2000, this is again a very, very a good book. Then uh, facilitating, etc. These are the books which are there. So you can just find these um, books here. Then you have Project Gutenberg. Project Gutenberg is there. Just go and find these books. A lot of free ebooks. You can just go and explore. Then there is Internet Archive as well. So, Internet Archive, you get videos, audios, uh, books. So, all these can be ex explored here. So, as we were saying that in this place, you can get open textbook, open stacks, OER Commons. We have all explored these and then there are many more. Wiki books is there. Then Project Muse is there, Project Gutenberg, Open Michigan. So, these are the places you can explore for textual resource so remember this page you can just uh, note it uh, note it down for uh, your reference then i want to show you certain courses also the full courses are available see this is lumen learning here you get a lot of courses i'll just close these windows so lumen learning you can explore the course catalog find out the courses in your interest area in your domain and you find the courses here and you can see creative commons attribution so the mostly the content otherwise which is mentioned it is under the creative common license then mit course where i've already shown then there's a sailor academy sailor uh, sailor.org where you can find new courses so this is uh, these are the courses which you can explore. Again, if you see the terms and conditions, it's just CC by. So let me find the courses. There are some courses you can just log in or the courses, go to courses or the programs. Say art, history, biology, business. So many courses are available. Chemistry, computer science. You can just go and explore these courses then you have open course library we just saw it academic earth so here again you can find a program then there's Duba psychology it is in the psychology free courses and these are the members who are uh, who are who work in this and then in this project and these were the initiators of the project and the courses are available for free then wikiversity is there you get courses here also some of the courses uh, are free for you to use and open learn is the initiated by the open university the open university uk which is the first open university in the world so here also you get courses which can be export explored and taken up for your teaching and learning so these are the free courses all our courses all our free courses not this this is the place where they have listed their free courses and you can just go and explore so and then open michigan this is again a place where you get uh, free resources welcome to open michigan find share and connect so this is where you get it open yale is there here again you get free courses which can be explored I'm just showing you these so that you can explore them at your own leisure when you get time. So this is open courseware of Tuft University. Then uh, this is uh, this is uh, let me just 
show this one also that these are the so many resources are there and can be easily found open learning initiative by this university making plans related featured courses general chemistry and all these courses are there and can you see cc by no ncs this is the license under which this the courses are available then this is john hopkins school of health sciences again there are courses which you can just find say rules and health and so this is the course these are the material syllabus schedule learning material readings and cc by nc by NC. so these are some of the initiatives i wanted to share with you as to you can find these uh, they, are, they are there for you to use the images the videos the audios the textbooks and the whole courseware which you can just go and explore so these are under the as available as an oer so how do we identify an oer please see in the next part